Hello everyone. And let's look at volume weighted average price bands daily. Now this is nothing revolutionary or new. It's been it's, been, it's an indicator that is very common or popular. Uh, the blue line is volume weighted average price. The only difference is that I'm running this on a regular session chart for of ES, uh, and here's the date cutoff at 5:13. That's midnight and. 5.12, 5.13, that's the date cutoff. Again, you have 5.14, 5.13, 5.14, date cutoff. The indicator does not reset. Uh, many people use the volume weighted average price on only the cash session. It's not sure why they don't use it on the regular session, as if the price action during the regular, uh, the regular session, meaning price action that does not correspond with the stock market action is not relevant which it is in fact relevant so in any case this indicator will not reset at the day change okay and this is just a daily volume weighted average price this next indicator here this is a volume weighted average price that is very similar to the daily one in contrast this is a weekly in other words, the calculation will begin and end at the end of the week. So we haven't completed Friday yet. Once Friday is completed, Monday it will begin again. So this is a weekly volume weighted average price. Okay, now combined with the daily and where the daily is and where the weekly is can give you a lot of good, a lot of valuable information. And what we want to do next is let's look at now here we have the daily with the bands. So you have one, two, three above and three below the volume weighted average price. And what you would do is here's plot SD1, two, and three. These were the three above the volume weighted average price and three below it. And three above, this is how you would control the standard deviations. Three below, how you control the standard deviations for the three below. Uh, your colors for the volume weighted average price and colors for the bands would be controlled through here. There's really no nothing you need to do for the daily in terms of the input. Just put it on your chart. It automatically detects the beginning and end of the session regardless what kind of session you're using. Custom session or regular session or if you're using ES.D, the pit session, it automatically detects it. Regardless of the date cutoff, it will not cut off or restart at the date. Now this is the weekly with the bands. It's the same deal with the bands. And as you can see this week, we've been trading right between the two standard deviations. Very calm and quiet. We never really tested it on the upside once it got flat. And today is the first time that we're testing it. Yesterday, it seemed that we would hold uh, this band here, but we couldn't close above it. And overnight, we pushed up above it and pushed below it again. So the market's selling off this morning. And that is the weekly, as you can see, and the daily. There is also the volume weighted average price end day which you can control how many days you want the volume price the volume weighted average price to calculate in other words if you wanted a three day one it would start here and wouldn't end once this session completes you can set it to two days three days ten days fifty days whatever you want and that's i don't have it shown on this video but that's available also that does it that's volume weighted average price daily and weekly if you have any questions, let us know.